Building with Logix is just like building with any other product. We're just faster and more efficient. 90% of everything you need to know about building with our product, you already know. So what we've done with this video is just simply make it a little bit easier to get you up to speed and shorten that learning curve. Working with Logix is not difficult. It's just construction common sense. However, to make it even easier, we're going to let you in on a few tips. The first job is unloading the forms. Logix forms arrive in bundles stacked on heavy plastic skids. You can offload by hand or use a lift. The bundles can be carried using two 8-foot 2x4s placed through the web openings in the bundles. Corner bundles can be easily handled by one or two people. Ensure you keep the bundles outside of the footing area until you've completed your layout and snapped chalk lines. Otherwise, they'll get in your way. Okay, before we go any further, let's go over a little Logix terminology. On the side of a Logix form, you will see lines and bars which tell you where the cuts should be made. Inside is the polypropylene web, which has three jobs. It holds the form together, it holds the rebar in place, and also provides attachment for surface finishes, both interior and exterior. On the side of the block are rows of X's, which clearly mark the location of the embedded webs. At the top of the block is the interlock mechanism that holds successive courses of forms together. To make a vertical cut, just use a handsaw and be sure to cut on one of the vertical lines. Cutting on the lines will allow the interlock to function consistently between courses. Okay, now we're ready to lay out our wall. Now let's review the three things we just learned. We always want to carry logics with 2x4s to ease in the handling of bundles. We always want to make certain we keep the product out of the work area until our footings have been done and our building dimensions have been laid out. And three, we always want to cut logics on a line if possible. Now we're going to talk about footings.